This represents the first dimension. It is the reference point, the starting place. What we represent as the number one. It is a singular world. This is the second dimension. It has two points. That, if we put on a circle, an equal distance apart, this is what it would look like. We are taking the single and dividing it by two. This is the third dimension. We have three points, each an equal distance apart from each other, on a circle. It is formed within the circle is a triangle. Now starting from the beginning reference point and dividing itself by three, we happen to arrive back in on ourselves and finish right where we started. We get a figure with three sides. This is one divided by three. This is the fourth dimension. Four spots an equal distance from each other on a circle. At this angle, which we call 90 degrees, it only takes four times before it turns back in on itself. This represents one singularity divided four times. This is the fifth dimension. It has five points, like the pentagon. In this figure, we count every second point and draw a line connecting only every second point. This is a 36 degree angle and will only take five times before it wraps back in on itself. This represents one divided by five to the power of two, also called five over two. This is the sixth dimension. There are six points on a circle, in equal distance from each other. Starting and moving every two and connecting every second line, we begin to see it wraps in on itself at the third point. Next, we move and continue connecting every other dot on the circle. And we get another pattern. Now what's interesting about this is if we take the one pattern and recognize that it is equal to three, that symbol alone is three and if we add the other symbol underneath of it which is also a symbol of three three plus three equals six the two threes together equal six this is the eighth dimension. Eight points on a circle placed an equal distance from each other. If we connect every second point on the circle, it only takes four times before we arrive back in on ourselves. If we connect the other four points, the remaining four, and we add this, four plus four, equals 8. Another way to think of this is 8 equals 4 plus 4. This represents 1 divided by 8, but can also be shown to be 4 plus 4. This is the ninth dimension. Nine points on a circle 
placed an equal distance apart from each other. If we connect every third point, we form a triangle figure, which represents the number 3. If we do the same to each of the remaining points, we will end up with three completed triangles. Another way to think of this is that the first triangle represents three. We add another number three, which is really a triangle, and by the time that we have got to the third triangle, we have three number threes, or three and three and three which is nine total. Nine is not nine per se, but is actually three plus three plus three, and that is what we call nine.